Hey guys, it's Vicky and Charlie here. Who's, don't mind him. He's just gonna sit here and stare at the window probably through the entirety of this video. So today's video, actually I'm gonna take these off because I cannot stand the glare. Adjust, adjust. Whew. Okay. So today's video is gonna be a little bit different um, than what I usually post on here. It's just gonna be some cozy time, me chatting with you guys. I've got my little throw, even though it's hot here. I have the AC on, so we're just gonna pretend it's autumn time and it's cozy time. I've got my good old H2O over here, so if you wanna grab your coffee, tea, water, whatever, come sit with me. I just wanted to do like a kind of update chat with you video. I just wanna share with you guys how I'm feeling and I haven't been feeling well and maybe you don't care and that's okay you can click away but uh, when i started this channel well i made a promise like about a year ago on here that i was going to be more honest and more myself because when i created this channel it was always about the diys and the the makeup and the tutorials and and the fun stuff and the educational which is that's why you're here for but i felt like i wasn't being myself and like i wasn't being as open and honest and like that's no fun and part of building a community and getting to know you guys and you guys getting to know me is to open up and be expressive even when things are not even when things are not necessarily perfect so um yeah things haven't been perfect i haven't been feeling well um emotionally more than anything and also physically it takes a toll on you physically as well especially when it comes to stress and anxiety um but where do i even get started it's really hard for me to talk about this stuff but i want to open up um i have been feeling extremely you know helpless sad um just unmotivated not wanting to do anything Chris and that especially affects me here like on the YouTube space work personal work because this is obviously not my full-time job I mean it affects me there but I have to do that like I have no choice I get paid to work um, so I have to bring it all like if not I'm in trouble so but yeah I've just hasn't haven't been feeling well haven't been feeling like myself um, and I feel like I just wanted to talk about it and share that with you guys as well because I've been seeing like so many folks online I just feel like there's an epidemic or something or maybe it's not and it's just people people have been suffering forever And they're just starting to open about it more but from what I've seen people are like suffering I don't know what I'm doing there, but people are suffering with a lot more anxiety and that's kind of part of like what I have been having. I've been having a lot of anxiety, a lot of tension, and I'm just overwhelmed. Like to get specific with things, like I have creative frustrations. There's two parts to it. One of it is, one, I think it's hormonal. So we all know that women, because I'm a woman, duh, if you haven't really guessed it, but I'm a girl. You know, as girls, we tend to sometimes deal with hormones a little bit more and just mood changes and mood swifts. And a lot of that has to do, you know, with our menstrual cycle and this little thing called, ooh, a bird, this little thing called PMS. And so I've had that, I've had that for years, but I, lately it's been getting to like a severe form of PMS, like extreme PMS, um, where the symptoms are just emotionally a lot stronger a lot linger a lot longer and like whereas it used to be like maybe a few days before my period it's now like two to three weeks and i've been doing research i was like looking literally for pms extreme pms and there's this little thing called pmdd is that what it is premenstrual dysphoric disorder and it's just basically like a severe form of pms that includes like physical and behavioral symptoms i'm just reading off of what google says and what it basically does is it basically causes extreme mood shifts like extreme sadness hopelessness which is a really really big part of what i have been feeling lately irritability and anger 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 plus other you know pms like tenderness bloating and all of that but it's the emotional part that's really really been getting to me and it's gotten to a point where it's really extreme and it can also be a part of stress and anxiety that i also have that have been building up and maybe making the symptoms worse it really really triggers like a couple of weeks before my period and then um kind of goes away um once it comes and sometimes it lingers it just really depends on where i'm at in life and like what's happening but i can tell that like it's very extreme and i get all of those symptoms like right before and then it comes and then you know 
I'm better, but it's a cycle and it's emotionally draining. So that's kind of the part of what I've been dealing with. And it's affecting the creative here. Like I don't want to create. This is also, I guess, like a little update for you guys of what I'm doing here. Like I do want to create and I don't. I don't want to make this video a, a kind of whining fest of me complaining about my frustrations with YouTube because you hear enough of that already. Everybody knows that YouTube is hard. Everybody knows that building a community is not easy. Um, and at the end of the day, I don't, nobody really is entitled to it. I'm not entitled to it. I know that I don't deserve it. Um, as much as I try or as hard as I work on something, I know that it's not owed to me, but I can't help but feel have those feelings of like sadness and disappointment and um yeah just hopelessness so i guess i am getting into it i don't want to talk about it but i'm going to talk about it anyways and if you don't want to hear it like i said feel free to click away i've talked about it before but i guess i'll get into more detail basically um i just don't i'm not happy with youtube I don't, I don't know that I want to do this. I feel creatively drained. I mean, I do have a lot of ideas, but I feel physically and emotionally drained when it comes to this. I mean, you probably know, you've heard it all the time, like having a YouTube channel, channel, having a YouTube channel is a lot of work. Like if you really want to do it in a way where like the production quality and the editing is a little bit more above than like just basic um nothing wrong with basic but you know if you want to make it look a little bit nicer and put a little bit more work to it it's going to take more work i have been feeling super discouraged lately and a lot of it has to do with again those like pmdd symptoms that i've been having um which do not help at all in my motivation um wanting to do and be creative and like feeling motivated i have like a whole list of so many things that i want to do but the problem is that i'm discouraged to do them because youtube is just not that great for small creators right now and the payoff that i'm seeing i hate to say this but i feel like it's almost just not worth it and again the reason i hate to say it is because i should be doing like this for myself and because they make me happy and i hear it all the time from people you know and i know this as well like if it doesn't make you happy like don't do it as long as you're happy making the videos do it but it's a little bit more complicated than that it's not just about oh well it makes me happy yeah i can keep doing something and it makes me happy but it doesn't take away from the fact that making youtube videos is a lot of work right so there's the hours of planning and then the pre-production and the actual production of it filming it making sure that you're filming things right and making things perfect and mind you some videos are more demanding than others like a sit down video like this is very i just plug in the camera i mean turn on the camera plug in the mic and just start talking make sure maybe like the lighting is correct but you know videos like lookbooks or the ones where i'm trying to do a little bit more storytelling in the beginning the ones that require voiceovers the ones that require diys which is a whole other thing in and of itself take a lot of work and then after that you have editing which editing takes hours as well 15 hours maybe like to make a video or something like that 20 hours it really depends it honestly feels like a part-time job and like i said i have a full-time job a demanding job a lot of you guys know where i work it's a nine to five nine to six nine to six kind of job um it requires my attention it's a computer job where i'm mainly you know i'm in meetings but i'm also doing tons of emails so i'm already looking at a screen all the time so yeah my point is to have a full-time job and then to do this as well to the side regularly with like work and attention that i put into it how do i say it i'm not expecting a huge payoff or anything it also hurts to to not see the payoff that I want to see, if that makes sense. Like to put like so many hours of work into something or planning or whatever to only get like 80, 50 views is kind of hurtful. And it's kind of like really the best way that I can put it is so if you've seen La La Land, Emma Stone's character, there's a part where um, she is putting on a one woman show and she's working so hard and she's really excited about it. And it's literally a one woman show. It's like just her doing everything and she puts it together, She, I think she goes through the entire thing and then she looks out into the crowd and there's only like a handful of people sitting there and she's heartbroken because it's her baby, it's her project. That's exactly how I feel every single week. Um, makes me a little bit emotional. Um, that's exactly how I feel every single week. Like I feel gutted, like just because 
I'm not expecting, you know, thousands of views and like hundreds of thousands of subscribers, but you want some sort of payoff. I'm not even expecting to make money, but you want some sort of payoff, right? Like you just want people to show up and especially when you put a lot of work into that. And I feel like what I have to offer, people would like, like I don't think it's, my content is that shit. And it's like, damn it, I feel like I'm checking off all the boxes and, and I have something good here, but nobody is seeing it. And a lot of it might have to do with, you know, YouTube's algorithm. God knows how it works. Like my head is spun into all the possibilities, like from I'm just not good enough and I'm just not that interesting as maybe I think I am to um, maybe it's because my channel's super freaking old. So this channel itself um, was created in 2008. Jesus. But I didn't really start uploading on here t until 2016. So I'm like, maybe it's like YouTube doesn't care about my channel because my channel itself is like really old. And I just want to make it clear that I don't want to make money, tons of money out of YouTube. I don't expect that. I actually don't think that I would ever do, even if the opportunity were present, like if I had hundreds of thousands of subscribers on here, I don't think I would ever make a career out of YouTube. Maybe I did at one point. I had the dream, but right now, um, yeah, I don't ever want to make a career out of it, even if I was making like a good income out of it, because the way YouTube is just, I mean, never say never. I don't really care about making money off of this. If I made the money to cover the cost of what it takes to do things sometimes, like for equipment or materials or just stuff overall to make the videos, that would be cool. Like that would just be, that would just enough make me content if I could just cover the cost of producing videos but making money like for extra things on the side like for me to go shopping or going on vacation or paying my rent no like I don't care about that that's not what I care what I care is about building a community and that's really what has been hurting me because I see and comparing yourself is horrible and I know you shouldn't do that but you can't help it especially when you're seeing like other people that are doing similar things to you and coming into the space newer you see people that come in and within like a few months have already surpassed you like double to what you have in terms of subscribers or sometimes even more and it like it just guts you and especially when you're like Jesus like they just started and they haven't even like they're not even doing like some crazy things not to put shade on anybody I know that everybody that has YouTube has a YouTube channel works hard on it you know to some degree but I know like I said that it's not owed to me and I don't deserve it but yeah it's just painful to see that and a lot of it has to do also with the fact that like a lot of these people have um followings elsewhere so a lot of these people have already like you know quite a few thousand followers on Instagram and that's why they're coming over to their YouTube when they just create them and checking them out there and I've actually that's another part of my frustrations as well so like my frustrations with social media itself outside of YouTube as well like Instagram I've never really cared for and maybe that's what my fault was that early on I was never really interested in making like a huge becoming an influencer Ugh, I don't even want to say that like I've never really wanted to be like an influencer. Maybe that's why, but I never cared about having a bunch of followers on Instagram until recently. And again, I'm at a point where I don't care anymore, but that's another part that probably led to my burnout. For the past few months, I was trying really, really hard. So I've always used Instagram as a way to promote um, my videos like that I do do, but I never was really working to build it and make it big and grow big following. But until recently, like, I was trying a few months ago, maybe like I'd say for about a year now, I've been trying to grow it in hopes that that will help as well, like my YouTube and my content creation to build a community. And that has not, surprise, surprise, gone very well. I haven't grown really at all. That led to a total burnout because of the pressure of, you know, like creating the perfect content and capturing, you know, the perfect things all the time and posting the right things and having the right captions and having the right hashtags. It's just too much. Sometimes outside of YouTube really, I feel like I'm not a part of this era and that I'm not interested and it doesn't really excite me, excite me to work on social media that way. Like I'm not motivated to be honest with you. I'm posting every single day. I'm just not. I reached a point like recently where like I kind of went sort of silent on Instagram. I wasn't really sharing. I like sharing on stories. Like that's, that's what I like the most, but yeah, just like, I just went kind of quieter are more quiet than what I usually do. I've been missing like a couple of videos. Um, if you guys don't know, like 
maybe you don't haven't noticed i do post regularly on here that's part of the reason why i'm probably burnt out as well because i post every single week but yeah i've been like inconsistent on youtube i missed about two like videos or so within the last month and i haven't really been posting as much on instagram or i've been i don't know i'm battling with that one but i don't really want to um i'm just not motivated so going back to the youtube thing a little bit it, it affects your life too especially because it takes so much time. It's been feeding into like, you know, affecting my personal life, affecting me emotionally, mentally, um, you know, creating videos. I, I go all my extra time. I'm working on the videos in the evening and on the weekends and that's affecting and eating into my personal life as well. So like it's taking a time away from, you know, Mason, my husband and I from spending time together and doing things on the weekend or going out and doing things because sometimes I prioritize YouTube over like spending quality time together. So for example, like my only time sometimes to film are on either Saturday mornings or Sunday mornings for the most part, actually, those are my main times to film. And it takes me like maybe three hours or so to film a video, you know, everything from like prepping me, getting ready to setting things up to actually creating the video. Then like we're already halfway, you know, through the day. It's like maybe two or three o'clock when we could have gone hiking and done something like special. And it's been frustrating for Mason because sometimes he wants to use that early part, the better part of the day, like on weekends to go do something, to go hiking, to, I don't know, go out somewhere. So it's been taking that time away from us as well. So I just feel overwhelmed by that. Like it's overwhelming as it is already. It's overwhelming for you people on YouTube like youtubers who um, do this full time and they go on hiatus sometimes so if it's overwhelming for them i don't want to say it's even more overwhelming for me but it's also overwhelming for me because i'm doing what they're doing it's taking away from my time on weekends i can't do this on weekdays because it's not my full-time job i have a full-time job that also adds to the stress and so I kid you not, like I feel like my head is just gonna fall off sometimes. Like I have so much tension. I walk around with so much tension. Add to that Instagram and it's just like, oh, I just feel sad. I feel moody. Like it builds into anxiety. I have suffer like from anxiety a lot and it's what's been getting to me lately as well. Like, you know, you lose sleep. You just can't function as properly. You just feel like this disgusting thing at the pit of your stomach all the time so i'm overwhelmed i'm overworked i'm stressed and then there's that hopelessness and sadness and the fact that you're doing all of these things for what to not even be able to build a community oh so yeah i just wanted to get that all out of my chest i don't know what i'm gonna do i just wanted to open up and ramble I'm not going to stop creating, I don't think so, but I may just stop creating as regularly as I do to be able to just live life and enjoy every moment um, and just give myself more me time. So I may just be less consistent um, because that's what's really been killing me, being so consistent and being so like meticulous with everything. Maybe just do easier videos, maybe just do less videos maybe just go away for a while i don't know i mean i have i'm not gonna go away right now i have a handful of videos i'm telling you the ideas are always there i want to make things so maybe going away for a while not now but soon i don't know i don't know what i'm gonna do i've been trying to do like more me time pampering time just watching netflix and like hanging out um that's really helped me and I'm feeling better. And you know, I'm praying that things are gonna get better. Autumn is right around the corner. It always just makes me really, really happy. Well, is it really right around the corner? For me it is, I mean, we're in June, but let's just pretend it is. We're a lot closer to autumn than we were yesterday. I live for September. Mason and I have a trip planned um, coming up at the end of August. So we're gonna be going to Japan for like about two weeks, a little over two weeks. I'm super, super stoked for that. So I'm really trying to prioritize taking care of myself and my mental health and just, yeah. Maybe I'll make another video later on, like for the next coffee chat of how specifically I've been dealing and, and an update on how my anxiety levels go. That's another really deep thing, but I didn't get too much into it today, but maybe talk a little bit more about it next. Sorry, this video isn't as positive as the way it usually is, but that's part of being real, right? I hate to come here and complain. Like I said, ugh, I just, I feel like I'm up, like, I keep apologizing or having to justify myself for it, which is also really annoying, but whatever. Um, but I, I just want you guys to know that I don't expect anything like as much as I want it. Wanting it 
it's it's a complicated it's just so complicated like i want it but i know i'm not entitled to it like know that know that i understand i just have to push through maybe is what it is i just have to push through like get some rest and just lay off and just stop being so hard on myself and putting so many expectations on what i need to be and what this channel needs to be you know i should really do this to be just creative and as a creative outlet and to express myself and for it to make me happy um i just need to learn how to accept that and come to terms to that and that's all that i have to say as always guys thank you so much for watching um know that you're not alone if you are feeling burnt out creatively exhausted if you have anxiety like you're not the only one take care of yourself that's what i'm trying to do right now like i'm just trying to relax um go exercise more because that's another thing that has affected me like you you kind of ignore yourself and i feel like i have been ignoring myself as well so i'm working towards that and trying to take better care of myself so reminder for you if you're experiencing the same if you're experiencing the same thing like be gentle on yourself take care of yourself have a mini spa day like take a bath um, take a bath. I'm not telling you to take a shower because you're stinky. I'm just saying like, you know, like a fun, warm bubble bath. We live in an era where like things are so much more hectic and you're always on, you're always connected. And sometimes you're just like on autopilot mode and you just keep going. And that's part of the reason why I've decided, you know, like whatever. So I'm trying to disconnect. And if you can do that, I'd recommend for you to do that as well. As always, send you guys a super duper big virtual hug wherever it is that you are in the world. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.